The origins of the splendid civilization that developed in the vast, ancient land of China are shrouded in similar mystery, just like the ancient land of Mesopotamia. Legends suggest that by the year 2000 BC, a culture was evolving in virtual isolation from the western pockets of civilization. Ancient Chinese inventions like the gunpowder, the compass, calligraphy, paper, and printing altered the course of human events. Calligraphy was invented about 1800 BC by Song Chie, who was inspired to invent writing by contemplating the claw marks of birds and footprints of animals. Song Chie proceeded to develop elementary pictographs of things in nature. These images are highly stylized and composed of a minimum number of lines, but they are easily deciphered. The Chinese sacrificed the realism found in hieroglyphs for more abstract designs. Chinese calligraphic characters are logograms, graphic characters or signs that represent an entire word. Calligraphy was never broken down into syllable signs like cuneiform or alphabetic signs for elementary sounds. Therefore, there is no direct relationship between the spoken and written Chinese languages. Both are independent systems for conveying thought. A sound from the mouth to the ear and a sign from the hand to the eye. Learning the total vocabulary of 44,000 characters was a sign of wisdom and scholarship. The Japanese adopted the Chinese logograms for their written language despite the great differences between the two spoken languages. Similarly, different spoken Chinese dialects are written with the same logograms. Dynasty records attribute the invention of paper to high governmental official Sai Lung, who reported his invention to Emperor Ho in 105 AD. Whether Sai Lung truly invented paper, perfected an earlier invention, or patronized its invention is not known. He was, however, the god of the papermakers. Sai Lung's process for making paper continued almost unchanged until papermaking was mechanized in 19th century England. Printing was a breakthrough in human history, and the Chinese invented it. Two hypotheses have been advanced about the invention of printing. One is that the use of engraved seals to make identification imprints evolved into printing. During the Han Dynasty, seals called chops were made by carving calligraphic characters into a flat surface of jade, silver, gold, or ivory. This flat surface was inked by pressing it into a paste-like red ink made from cinnabar, then pressing it onto a substrate to form an impression, a similar in method to present-day rubber stamps. The fundamental technique for block prints was now available. The second theory about the origins of printing focuses on the early Chinese practice of making inked rubbings from inscriptions carved in stone. Confucian classics were carved into stone to ensure an accurate, permanent record. Soon, copies of these inscriptions were pulled by making ink rubbings. A damp sheet of thin paper was laid on the stone. The paper was pressed into the depressions of the inscription with a stiff brush. Then, an inked cloth pad was lightly rubbed over the surface to produce an ink image from the incised inscription. Where the relief printing evolved from chops, rubbings from stone inscriptions, or a synthesis of both is not known. When and where began remains a mystery. The quiet revolution that printing brought upon Chinese intellectual life brought about a renaissance of learning and culture, just as surely Johannes Gutenberg's invention of movable type in the West did over 500 years later. Around 1045 AD, the Chinese alchemist Pi Sheng developed the concept of movable type, 
an innovative process never used widely in Asia. With a total of 44,000 characters, it is not surprising that movable type never came into widespread Far Eastern use. The Chinese contribution to the evolution of visual communications was formidable. During Europe's thousand-year medieval period, China's invention of paper and printing spread slowly westward, arriving in Europe just as the Renaissance began. This transitional period in European history began in the 14th century Italy and was marked by a rediscovery of classical knowledge, a flowering of the arts and the beginnings of modern science, all were aided by printing. Thank you for watching and join me next time.